morning welcome back to my channel and happy friday i'm drinking some morning coffee and i need to hit the road in a few minutes i have a volleyball tournament all weekend so i just sent stella over to my mom's house next door lucy's at school and shane will be picking lucy up from school and bringing stella home when he gets done with work today this is our last big tournament until the postseason starts but this is an extra exciting vlog today because it's actually sponsored by cricut I used my cricut explore 3 to make a stencil to make this welcome mat that i showed you at the very beginning of this video i spilled a little black paint on it right there but i just think it's super cute and i'm very proud of myself <laughs> So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring a portion of this video, but I have got to go. I'm going to be late. <laughs> Two hours and 40 minutes later, I am at my tournament and it is such a rainy day. It rained basically the whole way here. Um, and I am not early. The game starts in 20 minutes. So in true Marissa fashion, I am rolling in just in time for warmups, which is why I'm the assistant, not the head coach. So I have to go in and do this. I'll check in with you after this game is finished before we start our next one. But now it's time for Marissa's craft corner. So I'm gonna insert the footage from yesterday. I will be back to talk to you in a few minutes. I've been having such a fun time with my Cricut Explore 3. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little intimidated when all of this stuff showed up at my doorstep. Blown away how simple it is and how user-friendly it was to set up. I think the whole setup took me five minutes. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, it was super quick. But today I'm going to venture out into my first big project that I've never attempted before. I wanna make a welcome mat for my front porch. It sounds fun and I know that you can use Cricut vinyl to make a stencil. I am going to design that over here on Cricut Design Space and we'll go from there. The Cricut Explore 3 accurately cuts over 100 materials from iron-on, vinyl paper, cardstock, and even bonded fabric. And I've had so much fun brainstorming, designing, and accomplishing all the projects that I've wanted to. And once you start making with this machine, you'll see it's worth every penny of the investment. I, every time I turn on this machine, I'm blown away with how simple it is to use and how satisfying it is to see all of my ideas come to life. I wanted to show you a little bit of what I was doing on Cricut Design Space, but it's so user-friendly and simple to set up. You can design anything you could possibly think of. There are endless projects and pre-made graphics for you to use, and there's even a mobile app so you can design from anywhere. And I think Cricut Design Space is what intimidated me the most when I was setting this up, but I was really excited to find out how easily I could make any idea come to life. I found a font that I like that I think is going to work on the actual welcome mat so that it's easy to kind of paint on. So that is done right here and now it's time to move on. So there is permanent vinyl and then there's also removable vinyl. This project, since I'm using it as a stencil, I'm going to use the removable smart vinyl. Using blue, you can obviously use any color because you're going to paint inside of it, but I'm gonna go with blue. Need your smart vinyl, all of my Cricut tools that make life so much easier. Found this plain welcome mat at Walmart for like $5. A lint roller to use before I actually put the vinyl on the welcome mat. And I have some sponges and multi-surface paint. Originally, I thought about spray painting it, but I think I'm gonna try painting it on. I'm not very good at spray painting, I'm gonna be honest. So anyway, let's get started. So there is my cute little hey boo that we're gonna put on our welcome mat. Use the Cricut transfer tape to get this onto this mat. Um, I actually already have some opened because I've used it on a couple of my little projects already. So um, I'm just cutting out a piece to go over this and then we are gonna put it on the mat. Love that this transfer tape has a grid all over it to keep you um, in a straight line when you're cutting and then there's just me. All right, now it's time to lint roll the mat. I think I'm actually gonna do it over on the side and not in the middle. Um, I don't know, I just kinda like that looks. 
taking my stencil with the transfer paper and I'm gonna put it down, but I wanna figure out exactly where I'm gonna put it before I actually push it down because obviously this is not anywhere near a smooth surface, so I only wanna put it down once. is the paint I'm gonna use and my porch is covered so if your porch isn't covered you might want to use something a little more waterproof but since mine is completely covered with a roof I'm just using this Okay, I'm gonna use these little Cricut tweezers to get the middle parts off. Good. I don't even know how that got on there, but I'm very proud of this. It's 4.30, we won our first match in three sets, um, and we are just getting ready to start our next game and there was a fire alarm. So we had to evacuate the building um, 20 minutes before our game was supposed to start. So I'm out here editing this video. I don't smell any smoke, but fire trucks did just come and the alarm is off now. It's not going off anymore. You would be hearing it. So, oh, there goes the fire truck. Actually, I think that we are starting to go inside right now. It worked out well, because I got one more thing done that I was not planning on getting done before this game. So anyway, I'm gonna go back inside, sorry messing with my laptop so I will keep you updated but once again thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video I hope you guys enjoyed my little craft corner and it was fun and I'm really excited to do some more projects so sorry that so much of this video takes place in the car but that is just my life right now I feel like I am always driving everywhere um, this is our last volleyball tournament until postseason so I'm gonna be around a lot more but right now I just feel like I'm constantly on the go it's just been a very exhausting season of life in general. It's also just been a very exhausting day. It's eight o'clock and I am ready to sleep. I'm getting ready to go to the hotel. Sorry, this thing is in the way. Very frustrating um, game that we just had. Oh, it's raining, weird. We ended up losing, which we only have two losses all season. And the two losses are now to the same team and it was just a very exhausting game. I don't really want to talk about it, but we ended up losing um, even though the first set, if you guys know anything about volleyball, in college you play best three out of five. Had the first set one, we were playing amazing, and the refs made absolutely awful calls, and somehow, by the grace of God, I did not get kicked out of this game. I'm still shocked by that. I didn't even get a yellow card. I've gotten a yellow card for a lot less, but it's just very upsetting to watch your team play their hearts out and then just get screwed over. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. I'm over it, but it was a very frustrating couple of hours. Um, but now it's eight o'clock and I am seriously ready for bed. I'm so sorry about this lighting, but I might read my book for a little bit before I go to sleep. Let me grab that. I'm really enjoying this book right now, which is why I wanna share it. Raising a Secure Child, How Circle of Security Parenting Can Help You Nurture Your Child's Attachment, Emotional Resilience, and Freedom to Explore. It looks like that. I'm only 30 pages in, but I actually really enjoy it so far. Um, Stella and I have just been struggling lately. The last few weeks have been very trying um, when it comes to parenting. Here are the new book I'm reading. So far, I really like it. It is a very long book. The pages are really long. Um, yeah, so it's probably gonna take me a bit to read this, but um, in the first 30 pages, I feel like I've learned a lot. I really want to be the best possible mother that I can be for my kids. That was kind of random, but I know you guys like to see what book I'm reading, and that is the current read, and I like it. Another cold and gloomy day. I think it's only like 40 degrees outside right now, and it's so rainy. Um, so the girls came downstairs and they're snuggled up in a blanket. They're eating a muffin and having some blueberries. We have nowhere to be, so we might as well just watch a movie. That's what you do. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> well, I look like a vision today, but I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm going to go hang out on the couch with the girls since I haven't seen them all weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video that is hopefully not all in my car. That's all I do. I feel like I drive all the time. Love you all for loving me through it. Goodbye. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We did it.
this every day And I'm still so amazed by you